My next guest was inside the church with investigators today and insists had a new state law not been passed, hundreds may have lost their lives. Here now exclusively is Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton. Ken, good evening to you and thank you for being here. And thanks for having me on. So what about this law? How did it potentially stop this from being much worse? So as you know, we had a, an incident several years ago, two years ago, in, in Sutherland Springs where over 20 people were killed. And the legislature responded, Governor Patrick, Governor Abbott, and then Senator Donna Campbell pushed through some legislation that made it clear that parishioners who had a concealed carry license could carry in churches. And I think that law, that change in law, likely saved many people in the church yesterday, potentially, you know, a couple hundred. And that, of course, is Senate Bill 535. That took effect in September. Uh, Governor Patrick also mentioned the second law that was recently passed. That waives the fees charged to private institutions that have their own security teams. How does that work? Well, that's, that was, a, I think, a brilliant change as well. It happened in the previous legislature. And, and that law allowed churches who often couldn't afford to pay for licensed security guards to bring in volunteers who had their concealed weapon license and they could serve in that capacity. And, and frankly, so many churches just can't, and, and that also includes nonprofits, couldn't afford uh, to deal with the licensing requirements. And so this allows them to have voluntary people who are carrying legally to be part of their security force. I know you have said that you hope that the possible good that could come from this is that other states see that this could have been much worse and it wasn't and potentially receive the message that this gun law was the result of that. Or the gun law was what, what, what potentially led to that and they may follow suit. Do you, are you hopeful that that could be the case? So, Senator, yes. I mean, this worked. I mean, we cannot stop every incident. We can't stop the, we can't change the fact that there are people who are mentally ill. We may be able to treat some of them, but let's face it, this is going to happen again. And we need to be prepared, as, as Jack discussed. They were prepared. This church was prepared. And they are an example of what can be done. And, and within six seconds, they dealt with the issue mm -hmm. and saved potentially hundreds of people. I hope that other churches around the country will adopt policies like this and we can stop losing so many people when these incidences occur. Well, you know, he's being called a hero. He doesn't want to be called a hero, he <laughs> says, Jack Wilson. Um, but what he did say, and this stuck out to me, um, he said that the events of Freeway Church put me in a position that I would hope no one would have to be in. Important that he says that. But evil exists and I had to take out an active shooter in church. Um, that is what he wrote following that. Um, other, other elected officials, former elected officials in Texas, Beto O'Rourke, William Castro, they weighed in and they didn't acknowledge the heroic effort on his part, but they acknowledged the need for more gun laws uh, and gun control. And that has been a point of contention um, from both sides today. So we'll see how this all unfolds. We appreciate your time tonight, Ken. And thank you very much. And our best to that community as it heals. Yeah, thank you very much. All right.